defense, huh? Yeah, it was a good game. Um, you know, I, I really – I think I, we said this the other day. Um, I feel like we made some improvements. I think they showed up immediately in the game Saturday. I thought we battled a really good pitcher on Sunday and then carried it over to tonight. And it's hard to hit, but I feel I feel pretty good about where we're headed there. It seems like you guys are just driving the ball more consistently yeah. and hitting in the ball at the gaps. I mean, Tommy's example A of that. Yeah. He had four hits today. He just continues to keep on mowing along, right? Yeah, that's good. Um, obviously, he's one of the best, if not the best hitter in college baseball. And um, – you knew it was only a matter of time, and like I said, the uh, it's a tough game to take off six and a half months off and just kind of hit your stride. And then, um, but he's starting to now, and that's uh, perfect timing. You said you wanted to make some adjustments uh, with the pitching staff after this past weekend. Um, what did you sort of see today in terms of putting those into practice? Yeah, I think we have to be really convicted in what we're doing. Um, both, um, you know with who we're putting in games when. So that's me. You know, that's 100% me. They need to be convicted in what they're throwing and how they're throwing it and why they're throwing it because the right pitch um, is not as good as the wrong pitch if you're throwing the wrong pitch with conviction. And I think we did that a lot better tonight. And uh, that's a multi-layered responsibility. But we got guys with talent, as, as we've seen, and uh, they needed to get on the throttle a little bit better than they did this weekend. And, um, you know, I, I, we searched through a lot of things. We feel like we have some answers into maybe why they struggled a little bit. And uh, the ones that we feel like we can really control, uh, we made just a couple adjustments. And it's, it's a staff-wide deal, you know. Um, but they've been really good to this point. They were not good at all this weekend. I thought they were really good tonight. I'm really, really pleased with that effort from the mound tonight. And, you um, you know, it's 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 good because it's going to give us more options, you know, of what to do in, in these SEC weekends. And, you know, we've pitched well yeah, to this point, but um, that was a really encouraging sign tonight against a really good team. You mentioned some things that you guys sort of discovered recently, and if not tonight, what were some of those things? Um, you know, like I said, I think more than anything, um, you know, we just – I felt like a couple guys backed off when they had a chance to put hitters away this weekend. And they got fought hard. They got punched back for the first time in a while because going into that series, we hadn't been scored on a whole lot. I think it was zero the game before – or one the game before that, two the game before that, two, zero, three. And then in Houston, I thought we pitched really well. And so um, somebody punched back at them. And I don't I don't think we responded with, with the right fashion, you know, from the mound. And um, – you know, tonight was more like that. And, that again, that's a good team. They have 16 wins already. So it's a good win, and um, I, I hope they, they learn some things, you know, from that, that failure this weekend. Talk about Ethan. He's got to get back in mm -hmm. uh, How is he progressing? I think he's progressing good. You know, we'll challenge him tomorrow um, with some live at-bats. Um, you know, challenge him on the machine a little bit to, to check on his availability for the weekend. We obviously want to get him going. You know, the next couple of weeks, him being available would be a huge lift to this team. Kind of obviously you struck out there. How long is that time going to take? Or is it um, I, I, I don't feel like he's been out that long personally. Like 10 days um, is not an eternity. And um, we do a lot of game simulated stuff. I think it's about him swinging with uh, the right intensity. You know, he's not going to hurt it any worse. Like that's why we're okay to – to try to get him back in there. Um, but it's just, you know, getting that conviction, and he's got great bat speed. And so, you know, we want to get into and tap into that bat speed. Along with Ethan today, uh, Ashton Larson mm -hmm. come in a lot of times to attack the pinch hit. Mm -hmm. uh, how important is it for those young guys to come in and give them good at-bats? Well, you know, I mean, it is important because the better they do, the more opportunities, that, you know, we can push for them this year. But, like, those two need to be guys next year. And they're plenty capable of being frontline players in this program. Like, they're plenty capable of it. So the, as much experience as we can get for them, um, that's a big deal. With your established weekend guys who you threw today, um, just like Fidel and mm -hmm. Griffin and um, one other, Justin, mm -hmm. uh, is, what's your thought process of throwing guys like that on, the, on a midweek game? Like well, this? that's a huge RPI win tonight because their winning percentage now is involved in our RPI. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the most valuable non-conference games remaining on our schedule. Um, number one. Number two, I don't like 
losing and we lost on Sunday. And um, now the other part is we don't have a second midweek. We have two days of recovery. You have, you know, your best pitcher going on Friday, who we trust to get deep in the game. We didn't use a couple guys that will have a full week that are, are part of that. It just is the right, right thing to do. I was just wondering why those guys and not some other guys who you could throw, maybe not towards the back, even the mm-hmm. back end, just in just, you know, other top. Well, guys I mean, I, I think, I think I mentioned it, maybe it was in the radio show, maybe it wasn't in the interview, but Moffitt, we feel like has a chance to move up the ladder. Mm-hmm. Johnson obviously has a chance to move up the ladder and you saw good performances out of those guys tonight. Bucknum, I think has a chance to move back up the ladder. So it's still, there's still a lot of competition, you know what I mean? And I want guys that are going to throw with conviction and, and throw some out pitches. And those guys that threw tonight after those guys that you mentioned, they could all move up the ladder. So, um, you know, I just, I was kind of disappointed in the the 10 run rule. I mean, I know that sounds like a first world problem, but we were going to use three guys in the ninth inning and, um, you know, Cade Woods was was going to start it and go in for two hitters, and then uh, Sam Dutton and then DJ. You know, because those guys are good too. And um, so, it just uh, happy with how the offense performed. Really happy with how all those guys performed. Um, Jaden just got sick, you know, shortly before the game, and really got off track. I'm really proud of him for getting through that first inning the way that he did. That was big deal. And then us to score five, and then he just he was out of gas. You know, back out there in the second inning and. You know, this, you gotta you gotta admire the the want to to go out there and pitch even when you're not feeling good. But um, we gotta get him healthy and ready for the weekend too. What did you like from? I, I guess how have, how have Cam and I guess and Micah in particular improved um, since you know some of their earlier outings? Yeah, you know, Micah had a great first outing, and then I was so encouraged by it. Like he had one day off, and then we tried to put him out there again, and and we didn't, you know we just didn't set him up very good for success in the second outing. And then we, we went to Houston and, you know, those games, we kind of went with the guys that were, were at the top of the ladder at that time. And then the Xavier North Dakota, it was just kind of like a weird week. And, and so uh, we were taking them one at a time. We weren't in this flow. I think we're about to get into on offense, you know, so it, it was just the opportunities weren't there, but I have a lot of trust in him and, yeah, I mean that. Those three guys that I mentioned in particular, they can jump up the ladder, like you know, and, and move into you know weekend time in the SEC and be very effective. And um, I wanted to get them on the mound again tonight and um, against a good team and see them perform. And all three of them did that. Yeah, I think most of it is between the ears. You know, I mean, we have a pretty sound deal for where we want to head now like I said we have we're back in tune offensively I think um, we just need to stay committed to the plan that we have right now I think um, defensively we need to play better like we need to play with better concentration Uh, we'll work on some things tomorrow specifically to that and pitching we have to be convicted in in what we're doing and um, I think if we can do that in each phase of those things we're going to play better baseball and we're going to need to I mean it's it's big boy baseball here for the rest of the way Cam got to use a slider a little bit more. Is that a pitch you sort of wanted to do? A hundred percent. He he couldn't miss the glove yesterday. We had him throw a light pin on the field yesterday and getting him prepared for today. And uh, we obviously got to get him out there more. Like, I mean, he's one of, if not the most talented guy on the staff. I think he's starting to uh, develop. And um, it was only a matter of time because we, we saw it all fall long. And, you know, we feel lucky to have gotten him here and, it's a steep, it's a steep hill, you know, showing up at this place right now, and um, he's starting to uh, he's starting to climb that mountain in a really good way. I guess what's the next step for him in his development? Just get him out there, you know, back to back days now, okay. you know, and that type of thing. And um, but I, I like where we're headed, I really do. So, uh, what do you like about your outing today? I think I was landing all three pitches for strikes. Um, yeah, it was just good, just attacking hitters in the zone and, um, yeah, just not being afraid to let them hit it. Just, yeah. How did that feel better from uh, what, Friday when you mm-hmm. got there? Yeah, I just felt uh, a lot stronger, ready, you know, recovered, just, you know, felt like myself. Um, yeah, just felt like I was attacking hitters way better than I was, you know, at Friday, Find my, finding myself in pitch, pitcher's counts, not hitter's counts, like I was on Friday. I put myself – behind in counts a lot on Friday, which got me in trouble later in, in my outing. 
Um, Coach sort of talked about after uh, this past weekend some of the improvements that you know he he wanted to make um, heading into this upcoming weekend. Uh, did you see some of those things in play, and what were some of those things that you're kind of work, you guys as a whole can kind of work on? For sure. Just like I mentioned before, uh, we we were uh, behind the counts a lot over the weekend, having to throw you know certain pitches that you know we had a, they had a tendency of hitting more often. Like we're getting behind, we're not landing our fastball for strikes, so. Uh, you know, the hitter's going to think, okay, he's probably going to try to land a breaking ball here. Um, that's kind of what was happening to us, you know, throughout the weekend. They were just able to eliminate pitches and just sit on a certain pitch, and they were they were having success that way. Um, and today we just, you know, we landed multiple pitches for strikes, which, you know, got the hitters off, you know, a certain pitch, and they weren't sitting on the, the pitch that happened to be thrown at the time, and that's, uh, that's why we had our success. Did the state's aggressiveness early in the counts, like they were sort of jumping on pitches, especially early in the series, did that sort of throw you guys off at all? I don't think so. I think it was just uh, more of a mindset thing, just like attacking, <coughs> having the attack mindset. Um, I think that's that's really where we went wrong. We just weren't landing landing multiple pitches for strikes, which caused them to have success. What have you liked, um, I guess, from you know a fellow lefty, Cam Johnson, and just sort of seeing from him recently he's thrown a little bit better last couple outings. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, landing, getting his fastball in the zone early, uh, he's coming to face a lot of lefties. Um, and, you know, you got to be able to land your fastball for them to be able to, uh, you know, they're going to sit on your slider. You know, most of the time when you bring in a lefty to face a left-handed hitter, he's thinking, oh, he's probably going to throw me a bunch of sliders. Um, Cam's ability to land his fastball in the zone early in counts has made this that slider so much better. And that's why you see a lot of lefties chasing his slider. Uh, yeah, that's why he's having a lot of success. I'm really, really proud of him. He's grown a lot this year since that first outing and the first weekend. And uh, yeah, it's been really good. Talk about uh, obviously with your commission not being able to go on the mat that night. Mm -hmm. Obviously handled them. What type of confidence does he have to just guys in that, in that bullpen and the pitching staff as a whole going into I mean a mat a mat? Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, I knew I knew they were pretty good. They beat they beat Xavier at one point as yeah, well. So. I, I was following that game. I think that was right before we, we played them as well in, in their midweek. Uh, so I knew they were going to be a good opponent and they weren't going to be, you know, taken lightly. Um, it's big for sure. You know, I think he, he brought it up. That, you know, we needed we needed to improve from the weekend. And uh, yeah, this is a big, good right step uh, in the right direction for us. What do you think is working for you guys to play today? Um, I think we've just been sticking to our plan a little bit more efficiently. Um, got some good swings off on good pitches, and the results just take, took care of themselves. How do you guys use these midweek games as, I guess, um, uh, a, you know, opportunities for preparation when it comes to the big SEC weekends? I think the opportunities for preparation are practices, uh, you know, the stuff leading up to games. I think. In game, it's compete. The opponent is nameless, faceless. That's not what we're playing. We're playing the game. So I don't really look at it as like uh, no team in Division One is a rollover team. We've lost midweeks here in my time. So I don't think uh, I think when you start to look at it like that, you can kind of lose focus and lose what you're trying to do. So obviously, you want to keep uh, preparing as you go on. But when you go out and play, it's just compete. I think you said it being more aggressive. I think that's helped us the last few games. Um, I think we have such talent that we just have to learn how to use it and how it meshes one through nine. Um, and you've seen the improvement throughout the season. So that's all we got to keep doing is just following this path. As an older guy, how has it been able to kind of just maybe step back and see after a weekend like last week or something like that? Just yeah, one through nine, nine, you guys can't just kind of let off right away. Yeah, I think, uh, like Cook was saying, like you use the season to keep improving. Um, and every year is different. Every lineup's different. Um, as you know, we kind of mix and match lineups as is. So um, I think there's a number of guys that could be in there that aren't. Um, and that's the beauty of having such a talented team. But once that, that nine, that group, whether it be nine guys, 12 guys, whatever it is, once they find that role and we keep going, I think it's going to be really, really fun to watch. What do you think is the biggest difference in this offense between, I guess, 
first or second week of the season, and you know now as we enter you know week two of conference play. Um, just more focus at bat to at bat. Uh, there were some games early on the season where we'd have a good one two inning, or vice versa. It'd be a poor uh, first through four, and then we kind of step on the gas. But just winning every inning as we go, I think, is our emphasis. Um, and you mentioned the SEC thing. I think. It, that's the beauty of our conference, right? Best conference in college baseball. So uh, no opponent is a rollover. No weekend is a rollover. So I, I, I think it's only a loss if you view it as that. I think there's room for improvement and uh, things we got to keep hammering home. Yeah, like I said, best conference in college baseball. Um, at this level, I feel like roster to roster talent is very similar. A um, few positions, whatever it is, it may vary from case to case with teams, but I think that's the fun in it. You get to play against the best players in the country every single weekend. Um, and I think it brings something out of you that maybe we didn't have in preseason, um, whether it be competitiveness, stuff like that. So I, I really enjoy it. I wouldn't want to be in a, another, another conference or another spot. Yeah, I don't think they've seen it fully juiced up yet. So uh, I'm excited. I, I love playing here. I love playing in front of uh, Tiger fans. So I'm excited for some of the young guys to see it for the first time. Um, yeah. Does that help with the mental growth for a lot of these guys? I think so. I think once you get your feet wet, you kind of understand. Like ev every game is, in, in and of itself, is kind of the same, feels the same. So if you attack it with the right preparation, the right mindset, I think the results take care of itself. Uh, it's when you start to make it something more than it is, I think it can kind of take a downward spiral or a turn. You and Tommy White and Jared Jones have all kind of established yourself as this three-headed dragon of home runs. Um, what's the key to the kind of power you all can generate? Trusting it and not forcing that power. Uh, I think if we force it, the results won't be what we want. I think if we just take good at-bats, put the barrel to the ball, we'll get, we'll get what we want out of the three of us. I have a similar question. Like, what's been the key for not just those three guys, but really all of you guys to get more balls in the gaps or hit more home runs? I think the aggressiveness. I think there were times where we were very timid in counts. Um, whether we take a pitch, foul it off, and then we're 0-2, 1-2 really quick. And statistics don't lie. It's a very hard count to hit in. It's just not in your favor. So with the caliber of arms we play, like, uh, it is important to be aggressive and hit the pitch you want, or else you just feed into their game. So I think that's just been our overall biggest shift. So it's just trying to find the balance between, you know, being aggressive in terms of swinging at the pitches you need to swing at, but also not, you know, forcing things like sure. you guys have at times this yeah, yeah, season. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, kind of a random question, but like, do you feel like Brady Neal's healthier and stronger than he was last season, especially with his strength? He seems like he's hitting the ball harder. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's playing. I think that's the biggest thing. As long as he's healthy, he's going to be a really good player. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not Isaac. I don't work with him over there, so I couldn't really <laughs> tell you the intricacies. What's the giant there. chain that you guys have? Where did that come from? Uh, not, the, the, not the pitcher chain, but like the. Yeah, we're not ever using like that as a prop. I don't know why. I think that was a boredom thing. We just collectively got taped together over games. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't know if it's made out of tape or something. It is. Yeah, it's all tape. How important is it for Brady Neal to be able to go into right field and potentially get you, him, and Milagro all in the lineup at the same time? Yeah, Brady's taken professional bats from day one. So has Al. Al's gotten extremely better offensively. Um, I think it's important for players to have versatility. I think Brady is very versatile. So I think the more we move him around, it not only helps us, it helps his future. Um, but yeah, he's a good hitter, and it's important having him in the lineup. Was that fun when the other day when all three of you guys were on base at the same time? Yeah, I don't. I don't think any of us realized it until after the fact. I think we all saw it on Instagram or whatever it was. <laughs> but yeah, it was funny.